In mathematics, Marden's theorem, named after Morris Marden but proven much earlier by Georg Seebeck, gives a geometric relationship between the zeros of a third-degree polynomial with complex coefficients and the zeros of its derivative. Topic. Statement of the theorem A cubic polynomial has three zeros in the complex number plane, which in general form a triangle, and the Gauss-Lucas theorem states that the roots of its derivative lie within this triangle. Martin's theorem states their location within this triangle more precisely. Suppose the zeros z1, z2, and z3 of a third-degree polynomial P z are non-collinear. There is a unique ellipse inscribed in the triangle with vertices z1, z2, z3 and tangent to the sides at their midpoints, the steiner ein ellipse. The foci of that ellipse are the zeros of the derivative P z. Topic. Additional relations between root locations and the steiner ein ellipse By the Gauss-Lucas theorem, the root of the double derivative p z must be the average of the two foci, which is the center point of the ellipse and the centroid of the triangle. In the special case that the triangle is equilateral, as happens, for instance, for the polynomial p z equals z3 minus 1, the inscribed ellipse degenerates to a circle, and the derivative of p has a double root at the center of the circle. Conversely, if the derivative has a double root, then the triangle must be equilateral. Kalman 2008a equals Topic. Generalizations Topic. A more general version of the theorem, due to Linfield 1920, applies to polynomials P Z Z minus A I Z minus B J Z minus C K whose degree I plus J plus K may be higher than three, but that have only three roots A, B, and C. For such polynomials, the roots of the derivative may be found at the multiple roots of the given polynomial, the roots whose exponent is greater than one, and at the foci of an ellipse whose points of tangency to the triangle divide its sides in the ratios i, j, j, k, and k, i. Another generalization, Parrish 2006, is to n-gons. Some n-gons have an interior ellipse that is tangent to each side at the side's midpoint. Marden's theorem still applies. The foci of this midpoint tangent ein ellipse are zeros of the derivative of the polynomial whose zeros are the vertices of the n-gon. Topic History Jorg Seebeck discovered this theorem 81 years before Marden wrote about it. However, Dan Kalman titled his American Mathematical Monthly paper, Marden's Theorem, because, as he writes, I call this Marden's Theorem because I first read it in M. Marden's wonderful book. Marden, 1945, 1966, attributes what is now known as Marden's theorem to Seebeck, 1864, and cites nine papers that included a version of the theorem. Dan Kalman won the 2009 Lester R. Ford Award of the Mathematical Association of America for his 2008 paper in the American Mathematical Monthly describing the theorem. A short and elementary proof of Marden's theorem is explained in the solution of an exercise in Fritz Carlson's book, Geometry, in Swedish, 1943. 
See also Bocher's theorem for rational functions